Hi friends, this is Susie, your Candy Crush Guru, here to help you solve the puzzle of level 27, which is a timed level. Remember with timed levels, what we want to do is we want to make as many specials as we can, especially color bombs that we match with regular candies, not with specials, and as many cascades as we can. Uh, we want to create cascades where we make a move that sets off other moves because then we can get plus fives to add more time back to our time clock. Now we used to, on the old platform, be able to see what the level was going to look like beforehand uh, from the map screen. And technically we can't here, although we can. Uh, what we can do is hit play and we can see we've got one minute and this is what we need to do. We've got meringue frosting here and uh, it shouldn't be a problem for us to remove that and we've got opportunities to um, create some devastation over here. Um, we don't have to remove the meringue for this but it just makes it easier. Now here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and quit. You press the quit button and I'm going to say end game. Now usually, ah, well we learned something together. Usually on a level, we can quit without any bad things happening. No loss of a life, no loss of a um, booster. But my experiment here was that I should be able to do that with this. Now I guess once the time ticks away, we don't get the opportunity to quit without any bad things happening. It's actually considered a quit. So don't do that like I just did. We did get to see what the level looked like, but it's not worth it to lose a level. Let's go ahead and jump back in and we'll go ahead and get this done. At least now we know. Okay, so I'm not paying attention to the clock and I'm not even paying attention too much to all of the specials I could be making. What I'm doing is just paying attention to Ooh, but I did get a special though. Where I can make moves that will, oh, see I missed a special. So easy to do on a timed level. Where I can make moves that will um, result in points for me. Taking this meringue out means that I've got more space to make more matches and specials. So that's always a good idea if I can manage it. So I'm just making moves near where there's meringue. There we go. Now I'm just going to take out a color and look at how many points I get. My points shoot up. I also get a lot of points for a stripe draft combo, but a stripe draft combo kind of obliterates the board and doesn't set me up for another special like the um, color bomb scan. But watch this. We get a good points boost from that too. Mm, I think I can do it. There we go. All right. And I will get points for everything I have on the board that I've created and not detonated. So even if my time should run out and I don't have my three stars or whatever I'm looking for, I will still get all of the points. Look at that. And I even got something else created. So I bet that's going to uh, boost me up considerably. I get points for everything I have on the board that's created and not detonated. And oftentimes, one special will detonate and then uh, create more specials to be um, appearing on the board. All right, so that's how I beat this level. Learned a valuable lesson. You can't go in to look at the board and then back out without repercussions. If you'd like to see more videos, you can subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.